this is Chicho again. Um, what I ended up doing was uh, doing another large purchase, or not a large, I guess medium-sized purchase from uh, the same person that we bought in the previous uh, comic book haul video, right? And this is going to be the last package that I get at this uh, old location, as, in, as you can tell. Um, compared to the previous video, it's less chaotic here. There's, uh, you know, there's only plants and a picture, and the couch and the computer and stuff left here. Uh, so I'm almost done with the move. Um, sort of settling in, in the new spots. Um, and I showed you how I was setting up my, uh, um, sort of organizing my comic books and, uh, you know, setting up my bench, my workspace with them and how I store my comics and stuff. Um, and uh, basically what I've already done is gone through all those boxes and pulled out uh, some comic books that we are going to read in the next reading set, right? So while all this stuff is happening, you know, for my downtime, as I mentioned before, I sometimes sit down on uh, on the computer and I sort of surf eBay and stuff like this and uh, I just read comic news and uh, just give myself a little downtime, right? Because um, well, in a hectic life, it's it's good to take your mind off things, things that you need to do, and uh, just chill a little bit, right? And during this chilling session, um, again, the person I was buying from, I guess he's selling his old collection over an extended period of time. Uh, he put up some auctions, so over a week, actually, actually over a couple of weeks, I guess this thing. Um, um, I sort of went on his uh, uh, I guess eBay page and uh, just looked at uh, only the auction stuff and I bid on a few and I won a few and uh, we're gonna go through that right now right and uh, what we're going to do and this one is uh, about this size box okay and um, as with the previous video uh, we realized that he packed a lot of a lot of books in here and I can't remember how many comics I bought. I think it's around the 60. Uh, it was more in the last pack. Um, so we're just gonna go through the books and uh, just take a look at what's in here. Uh, we won't leave comments the way we did in the previous video because when I get to the uh, new location this time, I'll have time to go through and you know leave comments. I just wanna make sure the books are here and uh, see if the grade is accurate so we'll crack open a couple of these things and as before uh, the seller is uh, lowballing uh, the grades uh, that he's you know the books are in 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 my opinion anyway i would definitely give this some a lot of the books that i bought a higher grade um, some of them much higher grade <laughs> Uh, so let's just go through this. Uh, it's got a little backing board to protect uh, protect the package. And this one, the last package we got was popping. As soon as I opened it up, the box just sort of went boop. Uh, this one is not popping. Okay, the, so it's not tight as packed. Uh, put together as uh, tightly as before. Uh, and this is sort of, I guess, my parting gift to myself with the last comic book buying at this location. And let's pull these guys up. Now, the majority of these comics um, are from the Silver Age, uh, if I recall correctly. And um, there was a handful from the Golden Age. Nice, nice. So let's take a look at this. Uh, let's open the page. Um, so I'm just gonna go through uh, and take a look at what it is that we ended up getting. Um, okay, these ones, let me show you this. This is uh, uh, Superman number uh, 248. Okay. So I bought some, uh, in this pack, there was a few Superboys and Superman. Um, and I bought some of those. Uh, always a good idea uh, to buy yourself some Supermans and stuff. So let's take a look. And this is uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah. There's a few books here. 
So this is Superman number uh, two. Let me put these guys here and we'll go zoom through them. Okay. So Superman 248 and he graded this thing as uh, 5.5. Okay, 5.5 to 6. And it is a nice book. Nice copy. Yeah, definitely uh, mid grade. I would give it a five. Uh, next, Superboy, featuring decoy of the Doom statues. Number one thirty six. Uh, Superboy number one thirty six. Let's see. And this one looks to be. Uh, I would grade this around uh, three. Just from the cover let's see what he graded at um, here's the comic okay. and he graded this thing at 2.5 okay. and uh, i bought basically um, there was no books uh, that had anything missing from them if i recall correctly so all the books are complete book oh, this is a thick book uh, Superboy number 147 and this one uh, from the cover yeah I would give it great this is uh, 2.3 uh, 2 .3 at least I'm, I'm sort of lowballing them as well just because I'm buying from this guy and he's lowballing everything so if you want to get a close-up look at Pretty cover. Extravaganza. Everybody's in here. Supergirl, Ultra Boy, Legion of Superheroes, the Adult Legion. So he graded this thing at uh, at a one. Minor moisture damage to upper edge. Yeah, let's crack this open. Uh, because of size, this comic is counting as two. Uh, so the bigger books he mentioned that uh, because of because of size this comic counts as two for shipping when combined with others now when i talked with um, with the seller as i mentioned before you know he was a really nice guy and uh, basically he held on to the books and i made a payment in one shot buying buying things so he called this moisture damage but man, the moisture damage on this Oh, I can see there it is so it's just a little bit let's see there you go see it yeah right there around there so it looks like um, maybe you know a cup was placed on it not even um, if you remember we read uh, Lobo number one from the 1960s the first uh, black hero to um to have his own series from dell comics the um it was a western uh and uh, that one had moisture damage uh you could see the cups being placed on the thing and i wouldn't even grab you know great that as, as the one that was graded uh, higher and there is a little bit of uh, rusting on the staples take a look yeah so there is uh, the moisture damage from there is shown uh, and I'm not sure what uh, Rusty Staples does, but the pages are very nice and clean. Look at that. Very solid book. So I don't know if I would grade this as a one. Not, definitely not a one. And there's a little bit of thing coming off there, right? Uh, maybe Rusty Staples kicks a uh, comic down a lot in grade. Uh, not the way I consider it anyway. Nice, awesome. Uh, oh yeah, I should be telling the price on these things. How much I bought this for? I bought this for uh, two forty-five. Okay, the Superboy. Uh, 
I bought for uh, so this one was two dollars and three cents uh, the Superman actually it was two dollars and three cents Canadian let me give it to you in the US prices uh, oh this thing's only giving it to me in Canadian prices mm. how do we change this I gotta go into it through here let's see if this works yes now I'm into so all I did was change the uh, the URL the uh, the address from ebay.ca to ebay.com and now everything's in US prices easy peasy so actually okay so this one I paid the dollar 59 okay US <laughs> nice buy uh, the Superman was uh, 236 fantastic right I just came back from the comic book store uh, yesterday and uh, books I you know it's expensive buying new comics so um, you know I'm gonna go through my uh, pull list and uh, getting the books that I'm not reading uh, because the books uh, new books are costing five dollars US right four four to six dollars US and I'm buying a Superboy from 19 I guess I should tell you the dates too sorry I'm forgetting all this um, I'm just excited to be buying these getting these right uh, so this was 1972 right Superman 248 1972 for 236 right and I'm buying comic books right now um, new comics are anywhere between four to six dollars uh, and they're usually shorter uh, less you know sometimes you go through comics super fast and this one's uh, Superboys from 1967 so silver silver age bronze age I guess um, the 1970 uh, and that one was a dollar uh, 59 and uh, let me put the super super poly, 80 page giant nice there's some good reading there so thick <laughs> nice um, and this one and sometimes when I uh, when I want to make the comics go down flush I just do this to them right in the comics drop uh, just let them sit even and this one's Superboy 80 page comic from 1965 for $1.92 US okay just in case you want to know um, what I'm buying these things for uh, Superboy uh, 175 from 1971 and uh, he's graded this at uh, 1.8 to 2 you know he says comic is complete inside pages are very nice and clean and we know from all the other books that we've checked uh, the pages are nice and clean and this one I paid uh, actually dollar seventeen. Nineteen seventy one comic dollar seventeen US for a complete read. Right. And a lot of these books uh, from that period, uh, uh, older comic books, um, a lot of the books were complete stories. Um, as opposed to now where a lot of the books uh, or uh, you know you have to buy a few issues to get the full story uh, which which is good as good and unfortunate at the same time because sometimes you know the story is not consistent they bring different writers on the books uh, for the big two anyway uh, let me find this one 
where did this one go this is uh superboy 126 i like the cover fun superboy 126 did i miss it yes that in the previous batch and i bought some books oh i should bring you that i'm gonna show you something And this one, uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. This is Superboy uh, 126, 1966. Uh, and this one cost me uh, $2.16 US and is graded. This is uh, 2, 2.5. Nice. Superboy 106 um, and this one's got a little bit of damage up top right? and uh, I guess that's a little bit of moisture damage and definitely a little bit of dirt I guess whatever that is so Superboy 120 no, what was that 106 and the cover Superboy 106 uh, Superboy 106 from 1960 three very sweet i love it when they get close to the 1950s and i really like the books from the 1950s and 1940s well 1960s too but i just like i like that range uh and i bought this for uh dollar 70 um and he's graded this as 0.5 to 1 which is very very low grade uh big fold by spine I bought books that were in brutal shape. The covers totally uh, messed up. They were graded at 1, 1 1.5, and I, I would agree with those. And here's a fold he's talking about, if you can see. Right. See that? There's like pressure. Right. Uh, and just for that, he's kicked it down to. Uh, 0.5 to 1 I would create this a lot higher uh, I would still have to crack it open of course before uh, yeah, grading it uh, but uh, this one is uh, Superboy uh, 114 from 1964 and this will cost me dollar 97 US and he's graded this guy uh, at 2 2.5 so there was a fair bit that were graded uh, in the lower grade and there were some that were graded in mid grade. Cool. Featuring the raid of the super outlaws. Someone signed their name here. And I actually like these, uh, these, you know, so, you know, if I'm buying a lower grade book, uh, it's cool seeing some names and signatures on these things um, it's just sort of part of history I guess gives it a feel that the comic has been uh, has been read Lidsville number one I don't know what this is I guess this is a TV show Am amazing adventures of the land of the land of the hat people <laughs> what Amazing adventure in the land of the amazing adventures in the land of the hat people. <laughs> right, it's the number one from 1972. Uh, bought it for a dollar 19 US and is graded this as 2 2.5. Pen mark on front cover, pen mark. Oh, yeah, right here big number five it was so big i thought it was part of the cover fun for that he graded it down to a two 2.5 and there's some spine stress and stuff but fun inside pages are nice and clean nice western comics this one is this one is oh this one we're gonna go down low this was in the second or third batch that I bought from him. Or, there it is. This is uh, Lash 
LaRue Western. Lash LaRue Western. Uh, number 84 from 1961. Okay. And this thing cost me uh, 253. And he's graded this at, uh, you know, two. Uh, three inch upper spine split. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit. You won't be able to see it through the plastic. I would have to open it up. Um, so pretty good book from 1961. That's an old school book. Uh, and again, uh, as before I mentioned, I was bidding a lot of the older books. I was bidding against pretty uh, high ranking uh, um, buyers, uh, members of eBay. Uh, so basically resellers. Uh, this one, another Western, four color, 106, uh, silver tip. And this is a golden age book. And I bought this one for $1.50 US. And he's graded this thing at a two. And inside pages are nice and clean, fantastic. Like, oof, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Nice painted cover. Max Berna brands. Silver tip. The spine is not sitting nice. But man, this is definitely bigger than a two. Higher grade than a two. Just from the cover. Nice. Korak. Son of Tarzan. I used to love Tarzan when I was a kid. That's that's did a lot of. I don't know if kids like Tarzan now. I don't know if Tarzan kicking around too much. But um, back in the day, Tarzan was huge in my in my world. Uh, this is uh, Tar uh, Korak, son of Tarzan, number six, 1964, dollar uh, eighty six cost, and he's graded this thing at uh, two point five three, and. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, just again, just from the cover. Uh, yeah, three would be legit. Cool. Let's pull out nice. more Superboy. <laughs> look, look at the cover. Uh, see the boy of steel get battered, clobbered, walloped. The fists in the fists in the fists fury. She got the this thing flying fists nailing Superboy. Let's find out what this is. There it is. So this is Superboy number one thirty one. Uh, cost me a dollar uh, seventy eight and it's from nineteen sixty six. Right. And he's graded this thing at a two. Uh, comic is off center. Complete uh, comic inside pages are very nice and clean. Yeah, it's off center. This little piece is sticking out from the bottom, right? right. So it's uh, it's not bad. A two, sure. A two, we'll take it. Uh, I'll grade higher than the two, but the two is legit. Uh, Superboy, number 169. I'm responsible for Clark Kent's death. And my career as Superboy is finished. Dramatic. Uh, this is Superboy uh, 169 from 1970. Uh, $1.94. And he's graded this as a three. Nice buy. Happy with that. Uh, the next book, uh, Garrison's Gorillas. Mm. An astonishing raid to rid the underground of spies. Only the gorillas could do it. So I guess this is sort of like a spy thing. This one, dollar nineteen. This is Garrison Gorillas number two from 1968, and he's graded this thing at two point five. Right, dollar nineteen spy comic. 
1968. <laughs> that's, that's even frameable. Look, it's a nice cover. Superman, Superman, uh, Superman number 198, Superman 198, and da, 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 da. let's find this guy, there it is, so this is 1967, um, cost me $1.19, he's graded this at uh, 1.5. You know, there's wear, a little bit of tear up top here. See that? Uh, you know, there's crease marks. A little bit of wear and tear on the spine, but I've seen way worse than this. I bought way worse than this at a higher grade. So maybe, um, you know, I was paying too much for those, I'm too little for this. Uh, but a dollar nineteen for a Superman from 1967. Uh, uh, fantastic uh, this one's definitely mid-grade I hope he's graded this one at like uh, four or five at least uh, this is Superboy 152 Superboy 152 let's see what we got here um, this is uh, from 1968 I paid 355 so this is definitely in the mid-grade category uh, yeah you graded this as a five all right uh, the higher the grade usually well the more you pay for it usually and usually there's more activity on the bidding right so you're bidding against people and uh, this one I was bidding against someone with uh, 2100 uh, ranking feedback and uh, the person that bid the second lowest that I beat I uh, had 40 4600 feedback right uh, so resellers were trying to get their hands on this uh, glad I did uh, nice buck sweet again this is uh, mid-grade for sure Superboy 144 uh, Superboy 144 let's see what we got there it is, Superboy 144 uh, from 1968 again. And this thing cost me 356. And he's only graded this thing at uh, 2.5. Light staining on upper spine. Man, he is a hard grader. Hard, hard grader. Oh my god, that's a little bit of light staining. I wonder if you can see. A little bit of green. much and again I was bidding against the same two people uh, the 2100 and uh, 4600 uh, sellers or buyers or people that were bidding against me I would have graded this thing at five as well again I have to open it up to take a look but and sweet 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 I've ended up buying a lot of crime um, crime cases number eight very nice and what have we got what have we got this is let's see if we can find this guy I may be scrolling too high let's take a look oh there it is Crime Cases number 8 from 1951. Sweet. And this thing cost me $4.03. And he's graded this thing at 1.5. Because of size, this comic is, uh, counts as 2. Nice. Actually, it's not a very thick comic, so I'm not sure why you put that in there. But I think he's sort of doing generic uh, posts on some of them. Look at that cover. Serious slap in the face, eh? 
I'm losing my patience with you, Willie. Talk. Tell me where you, where you got it, kid, or I'll knock it out of you with my fists. Let me take care of him, monk. I know how to make. Hey, monk. Look, somebody tipped off the cops. He had this thing in his hand to start beating him with that, uh, and the cops are coming in from the back. There's going to be a gunfight. A gun shootout. Whew, like this. Very sweet. Superboy. 80 page giant. Superboy number 129. Thick buck. Superboy number 129. What does the cover look like? Oh my god. That's a serious, serious cover there. Uh, there it is. From 1966. Uh, this thing cost me $1.43. And he's graded this thing uh, 1.5. Heavy spine wear and tear. Because of comic, uh, because of size, this comic. Heavy spine wear and tear. Yeah, definitely. Some at the bottom here. Take a look. See that? So he's calling this a 1.5. Um, I wouldn't be calling it a 1.5. Nice. Featuring Superboy and his super friends. The saga of Kip, Kit Kryptonite. The super uh, weakling from space. <laughs> the super weakling from space. And the other guys. Nice covers. Let's grab more. Okay, let's pull up these guys. Nice. Sweet. Let's see this. Forbidden Worlds. Forbidden Worlds. Take a look at this. This is definitely mid grade. Uh, where's the number on this? There it is. Forbidden Worlds number 108. And this is after Comic Code came up, right? Uh, Forbidden Worlds number 108. Where are we? There it is. Forbidden Worlds number 108 from 1962. And Comic Code, I think, kicked into effect and well, in the late 1950s, but probably 1958 or so. Um, so this is 1962. Uh, this thing cost me 328, and he's graded this thing at four or 4.5. Cover is detached from lower spine. Um, lower <laughs> cover is detached from lower staple, and uh, from a comment. Um, uh, thank you for the comment. Uh, uh, from one of my subscribers that uh, in a previous uh, comic call uh, they mentioned that uh, if the uh, for grading if the staples uh, detached uh, from one of the spines it automatically kicks it down to a six or seven or something like this uh, which is reasonable I guess um, I spy I spy I have some of the I Spy comics. I think we got one in the last issue, last uh, buy as well. This is I Spy number six, uh, cost dollar seventy-seven, and it's from nineteen sixty-eight. And he's graded this in six six point five, which is great. Nice book. Absolutely awesome. I love this. I was really wanting to get my hands on this one. Lois Lane 128. Classic, classic cover. Absolutely classic cover. Uh, and this one cost me, it's one of the ones that cost me the most. Um, 1972. Uh, cost me 735. And he's graded this at 8.5. Okay. And I was bidding, there was activity on this one. And I was bidding against, you know, high ranking 
one person kicked it up with like around 400 ranking and that's why it cost me 735 otherwise it would have cost me 623 right <laughs> which is fantastic great cover i love this cover uh in um and just a uh, little uh, note in uh, the most recent bloodshot annual um it was a fun bloodshot annual and they did a spoof off the uh you know all the reboots and stuff that marvel and dc are doing and it was it was a fun little story with uh, blood squirt and um <laughs> was a there's a scene and this is a classic cover a lot of people have done tributes to this and it's sort of um you know it happens in uh, the crisis uh, uh where i guess uh, barry allen or wally west is holding up barry allen i think i'm getting a mixed up i mix my covers right but the tribute to this is done i think this is a tribute to something else maybe um but in bloodshot annual uh with a blood squirt story arc uh storyline little segment and it was four different stories there was a part where uh, uh faith and torque are fighting an evil villain uh, that's sort of a mock-up of galactus <laughs> i forget what they called him it was funny and faith is holding up torque because torque got killed <laughs> the the galactus spoof uh comes after faith and just faith does just drops torque and runs away it was funny it was i liked it uh, i like sort of a uh, little humor stuff that happens uh this one was great uh this is strange suspense stories number 60. uh this one cost me um 325 and it's from 1962. Uh, and he says this is uh graded this is a three and i believe this is uh let me do a little check on this i think this is like the first in in this run strange suspense stories i'm just going to a website right now to check these uh maybe not no probably not this is uh sometimes the numbering oh yeah numbering started with 27 that's why and this is number 60 yeah i knew the numbering didn't start off with number one uh strange suspense stories uh the series started off in 1955 and they kicked it off the issue uh with number 27 because previously it was entitled uh, this is suspense so they continued the numbering from there but 1962 fun fun fantasy sci-fi story arc sort of compilation i'm guessing i haven't read this uh 1962 fun adventures into the unknown nice number 159 adventures into the unknown number 159 it's comic code approved so this is uh either late 50s or early 60s let's see if we can find it uh, there it is 1965 so it's mid 60s number 159 um this call cost me dollar 19 i was the only one bidding on this right and he's graded this at uh three the comic is slightly off center nice cover this could pass for a golden age right if it wasn't for the comic code the, the uh, seal there you would consider this to be uh, a golden age book right it's got some staining superman sweet superman 264 the secret of phantom uh, the phantom quarterback superman six uh 264 let's go where the superman is where superman 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 where are you here we go here we go where is it Oh, 
I skip that. Okay. Superman. Where is the football guy? There it is. <laughs> Took a while there. Superman uh, 264, 1973. And he's graded this as seven, seven point five. And yeah, it's a very nice copy. Nice. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Uh, Adam Strange, number two twenty. Adam Strange, number 220. Let me hold this up. Beautiful cover. I have been uh, sort of trying to get my ass some Adam Strange stuff, but uh, uh, no one's selling complete. Well, not, I can't say no one. No one has gone across. is selling in a complete collection. It's a great price. Uh, this one was $1.19. 1969. Uh, he's graded this as 1.5 minor staining on lower right corner he says oh well minor staining on lower right corner nice cover definitely frameable that's one thing I look for I do like framing my comics and displaying them this one was cool um, monster hunters all Ditko art. I think it's all Steve Ditko here. And this one, uh, uh, Monster Hunters number 14, 1978. And it's graded this at 77.5. And it is, it's a very, very appealing. Nice car. And yeah, I was bidding against the same guy uh, with 4,600 uh, feedback. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Monster Hunters. I wonder if that's all Steve did. Should we crack this open? Sometimes they're not signed. this anyway look at the artwork I don't think this is signed published George restaurant copyright 19 Copyright number is 1978, yeah. Nice artwork. Nice. It does, it's not signed, these comics. Oh, it is, there it is, Steve Ditko. S. Ditko. Sweet. Oh, I'm to pull this up. There, just that signature right there. S. Ditko. Okay. And this is uh, the thing from below. Nice. Anthology. Captain Fenton, 
And again, dead girl signs, so all dead girl art. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 215, 1978. Monster Hunters number 14. And uh, I guess it's uh, one reason it's not. Uh, I think it's going for a higher price is uh, Miyuka's Charlton Comics. Uh, it's not one of the big. Uh, Big two or one of the sought after publishers, uh, but fantastic, love it. Uh, next one, The Shadow, number two, and again, comic book uh, code approved, so late 1950s, early 19. Uh, where is this? Shadow number two, 1964. Um, and he graded this at 5.5. Awesome. And again, I was bidding against uh, someone with 2100 ranking or something. Fantastic, beautiful book. <laughs> This is Plastic Man number two, but this is the second series from the 1960s. Uh, we bought one Plastic Man uh, in the previous buy that was uh, from the original series, uh, Golden Age. So this is Silver Age, right? And Plastic Man's kicking around. Uh, this is Plastic Man number two, uh, 1967, and I paid $1.19 for this. $1.19 US. And he's graded this thing at uh, out of two. Uh, comic is off center. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Right. Fun. Let's take a look. What's this one? Oh yeah, I bought a whole bunch of Adam comics uh, from him. Uh, he just had the Adam comics up, so. Uh, this is the Atom uh, number 18. The Atom number 18. Where are you? The Atom number 18, 1965. And uh, this thing cost me. 489 US and he's good at this thing as a three cool the atom number 20 uh, from 1965 And uh, this thing cost me uh, 99 cents. And he's graded this thing at uh, uh, 1.5, 1.8. Complete comments, pages are nice and clean. Cover doesn't have any chunks missing. There's a little bit of, I think like, right. like, I guess maybe tape taken off and ripped a little bit. Wear and tear. The Adam and Hawkman number thirty-nine. The Adam and Hawkman number thirty-nine from nineteen sixty-eight. Dollar uh, fifty-two, and he's graded this thing at uh, four four point five. So a lot of Silver Age buys in this collection. Nice. So 
Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 95. Sweet. <laughs> look at her head. No, Superman, don't look at me. I've become an ugly freak. The Superman, of, Superwoman of Metropolis. Superwoman. Take a look. Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. That's gotta be Lois. Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane, 1969, and I paid a dollar sixty for this. Right, and he's great that this is a two, and it's a thick buck. Yeah, yeah, the spine's got some wear and tear. Nice cover, Madame Jackal. Slave girl, Lois Lane Hag. <laughs> She's Louise. That's funny. Korak, son of Tarzan. Number. Actually, this is gold key, so very difficult to tell numbers from gold key. You gotta look inside. Uh, this is number 19 from 1967. Uh, $1.19 it cost. And he's graded the thing 6.57. Nice. Awesome. Nice uh, story. Like the stories back then for Tarzan, especially. Uh, they're amazing for, uh, you know, younger kids, uh, children to read. Uh, I know in a lot of different forums I've gone to, people are. Uh, you know they ask questions uh, uh, you know what comic books are appropriate for uh, uh, younger kids right because you know people want to get their kids into reading and comic books is a great way to get your kids uh, uh, to read right um, I know it got me interested and uh, you know what the newer comic books uh, they're fantastic one of the ones of, of course is bone that I recommended many one of the first videos I ever put out on YouTube, um, the first batches for the first uh, language of mathematics series, I recommended Bone uh, to read. Uh, but it does have some frightening moments uh, in that book, but it's good for uh, kids, I think. Uh, not very young, but preteen, I guess called them tweens maybe. Uh, but some amazing reads, some amazing books are available. Uh, if you want to go online and buy silver golden age books for kids right as we saw in the previous comic book buy um, but anyway digress um, this is superboy number 72 um, from 1959 sweet and this thing cost uh, 309 and he's great at this thing at uh, two he says there's a three inch lower spine split Yeah, most likely. Well, you won't be able to see it if I show it to you, but it's not prevalent. It's like not in the book. It's a beautiful cover, nothing missing. I would grade this much, much higher. I don't know what a three inch lower spine split, what that knocks it down, but I don't think it's gonna knock it down to a two. Um, uh, definitely has some browning on the inside, I believe, because you can see the sort of browning showing through here so that definitely knocks it down but it's a nice cover featuring the flying girl uh i've granted your wish lana so lana one of uh, superman or superboy superman's loves uh i've granted your wish lana my comic belt transfers my powers so you can fly like me for three hours silly superboy if he only knew his invention has really given me the power to fly for the rest of my life. L L Superman and LLs, right? All the names of different people in Superman's life uh, that have abbreviations of LL. Uh, Superboy number 77 
Uh, this one is definitely a uh, lower grade. It's got some wear and tear on it. Uh, well, not no trunks missing. Uh, just you know, rougher. Uh, number nine, uh, Superboy seventy seven from nineteen fifty nine. Uh, it cost me two fifty five, and he's graded this thing as one one point five. Comic complete, complete comic. Inside pages are nice and clean, fantastic. Uh, also in this issue, a tale of Super Baby, a Super Boy, a Super Dog, crypto story, little side stories, fun. Superboy, one sixteen. Superboy, one sixteen. This is from nineteen sixty four, okay. and uh, cost me a dollar sixty, and is graded this thing at two point five three. Thank you. It's true, Lana. Superboy has abandoned the human race to become a king of a wolf pack. <laughs> the wolf boy of small <laughs> It's just insane. Right. There's the cop of Lana. Daniel Boone, awesome. I've been getting some Daniel Boone comics over the years. Um, where are we, Daniel Boone? Daniel Boone number two, 1965. Uh, this thing cost me three ninety US, and he's graded this thing at four four point five. Awesome. Bullets cannot harm. Booms, burrows, merciless attackers, and even Daniel Boone's rifles helpless against them. I wonder who that is. I hope he's a good guy. I hope they did. They did the First Nations justice in these books. A long time ago, I read one. I liked. Can't remember. So I started collecting. Nice crime comic. Uh, crime does not pay. Lev Gleason again. Uh, that we saw in the previous comics. And this is. Where's the number on this? The original and best all true crime stories. Oh yeah, there it is. Totally missed it. Uh, number nine, number sixty-six. Okay, let's find this thing. It's a lower grade, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. So Crime Does Not Pay, number 66, from 1948. Sweet. This thing cost me 550. And it's graded this thing as uh, 1.5, 1.8. Uh, tape on spine, see photo. So he says there's a tape on spine. And uh, yeah, nice book. Yeah, there's a rip there, there's some sign there. Fun. Charles B. Roll, who's that? <laughs> Fun. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley, number six. 
1956, uh, $2.61. And he's graded this thing as a 2, 2.5. Small piece is missing from cover, lower right corner, right there. Western. Slowly I build my Western comics. Okay, these ones I'm gonna show you later because I got something else to show you. I forgot to grab it, so I gotta go in the next room and grab it, but let's put this guy here for now. Okay. Um, the Atom, uh, number 15. The Atom, number 15. The Atom number 15 from 1964. And this thing cost me $1.17, so I was the only one bidding on it. And uh, he's graded this thing as uh, 1 1.5. Center forward is missing, not affecting storyline. So, okay, I, do ha I did buy one where something is missing, center forward is missing doesn't affect the story so I'm okay with that okay. fun Tommy tomorrow sweet uh, number 43 let me hold this up to you Tommy tomorrow DC showcase number 60 I'm um, sorry number 46 so this is uh, showcase one of the series that introduced a lot of uh, you know DC comic books right uh, from 1963 this thing cost me $1.19 uh, he's graded this thing at a two color fading on front cover upper edge you know right there we saw or we can see right some color fading but uh, great buy dollar 19 for DC showcase number 46 Wow 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 uh, 1963 great cover fantastic sci-fi cover we've uncovered a practice practice attack on this model of New York and will be destroyed before we can warn earth where they build a model of New York The Atom, number 25. Uh, lower grade, definitely. The Atom, number 25. And this thing's from 1966. Uh, cost me $1.19. He's graded this at 1.82. Inside pages are, are cream color, complete comic. Hawkman. I used to love Hawkman. Hawkman number 19. Nineteen sixty-seven. Dollar nineteen. He's graded this thing at 1.82. Complete comic. I don't know why he's graded this thing at 1.82. Uh, this would be three, three point five. If the inside, as he says, the inside pages are nice and clean. Parasite Planet Peril. Awesome. Jaguar. Archie Adventure Series. Adventures of the Jaguar, number three from 1961. $1.19. He's great at this thing, 2.53. Right. Buy five of these for a price of one brand new comic. Not that you shouldn't be buying brand new comics, I do for sure. But I'm slowly cutting back on, you know, the stuff I'm not reading because I can buy a lot of the older books. Uh, it's a great time to be buying uh, 
online. There's a lot of amazing books uh, being sold for a very, very reasonable price. Um, the Atom, number 24. 1966 cost me uh, $1.19 and he's graded this thing uh, at the 1.5 1.8 uh, center four is detached and we you know got a detached comic uh, center four detached last buy as well uh, but nice cover story intact comic is complete inside pages are nice and clean he says we'll take it and yeah Great, this is a definitely lower grade, two, 2.5. Uh, Tower of Shadows number three. And I do have Tower of Shadows number one. Uh, I don't know what issues of Tower of Shadows I do have. This is from number, uh, this is from 1970. It cost me $1.39 and it's graded this thing as a three. Getting smaller. Oh, just a little bit more. Let's check it out. Nice. Oof, look at the size of this guy. Superboy. <laughs> DC 100. Page. Spectacular. Look at this. Nice copy. Let's check it out. What's the grade on this? So 100 page, uh, super spectacular number 21. And it's, um, you know, cost me 354 and it's from 1973. And it's graded this thing at uh, four, 4.5. Definitely agree with that grade. If not a little bit higher, I would grade this thing. The spine is nice, no split. Uh, I would have graded this thing at 5, 5.5, but good enough. Nice. Action Comics, sweet. Action Comics number uh, 348 uh, from 1967. This thing cost me $1.25, right? And it's graded this thing as uh, uh, 2.5. Three, and center fold is detached. The cover is beautiful. Awesome cover, bright colors. Whew. Nice and vibrant. Clark Kent fighting federal agents. Uh, I can hardly wait to switch from Superman switch from Superman into my new role as secret agent Clark Kent nemesis of spies and saboteurs <laughs> Clark Kent playing the field while well, playing I guess secret agent man nice Zane Gray's stories of the West the trail driver Awesome. I gotta put this in a new board. Look at that sticking out. He's got it in the Silver Age board. Board. This is Golden Age. So let's find this. Where are we? Zane Gray Stories of the West, number 32. Uh, this thing cost me $1.89. Uh, and it's from 1957. 
and he's graded this thing in 1.5, uh, 1.8. Okay. Great buck. Awesome. And no comic book code. So 1957, no code. So I think the code maybe kicked in 1958. Uh, Daniel Boone. Another Daniel. Daniel Boone number three. So we got Daniel Boone number two and Daniel Boone number three. Gotta get Daniel Boone number one. Maybe I have it. I don't know. Uh, this thing cost me three fourteen, and he's graded this thing at four four point five. Awesome. Photo cover. Zorro, who doesn't love Zorro? Zorro. So we got there it is. Zorro number five from uh, 1967. Uh, cost me 249. He's graded this thing at 5.56. Nice buy. Like it. Nice. This one was great. Um, Walt Disney's Davy Crockett uh, it's the second print that came out in the 1960s um, it was reprinting something from the 1950s uh, uh, I believe uh, this thing cost me uh, 354 and uh, it's graded this thing at uh, 4.5 and if you look up Guy this thing goes up for way more than a 354 uh, and I looked at some of the other uh, Davy Crockett books and uh, every every now and then a random one would sell for less than $10 uh, at this price uh, but they're they're selling the buy it now stuff is way higher priced okay. nice book nice this is a good book high grade Jimmy Olsen, number 157. Jimmy Olsen, number 157. Not up here. Where did it go? Uh, number 157 uh, 1973 cost me two dollars and three cents and he's graded this thing at 8.5 uh, very fine plus um, yeah and it's a great copy beautiful copy not a great price okay this is the last of it uh, but what I am going to do, there's about four books here that I'm going to put on the side. I'm going to, here, I'm going to take these. And we're going to take a look at these ones. So let's take a look at these guys. Um, all new ghostly tales from the haunted house. Charlton Comics, number 101. Ghostly Tales, 101, 1973. Cost me $1.19 US. And he's graded this thing at uh, 3.5. 3.54. Nice buy. Superboy. Nice copy. Excellent copy. Superboy number uh, 196. Beautiful copy. Let's find it. Uh, 
1973. Uh, number 196 cost me 480, and this thing's graded at uh, 8.5. 8, 8 very fine, very fine plus. Okay. And that guy again, uh, who was bidding the 4600 uh, ranking, was bidding against me a couple of times. So it kicked up the price on me. Cool. Butch Cassidy. <laughs> Also, if you've never seen Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the movie, uh, watch it. Fantastic movie. Nice. Butch Cassidy number one. Where are we? Not down there. from 1971 okay and it cost me $1.79 is great at this thing of 6 6.5 nice copy nice nice beautiful copy uh, Johnny Thunder number one High grade, seriously high grade. Hope so anyway. Should be. Johnny's Thunder, I saw this. No, I passed it. Johnny Thunder. There it is. Johnny Thunder number one, 1973. Uh, cost me 313, and he's graded this thing at 7, 7.5. Um, the last roundup and the only reason is, is this neck here otherwise it's like a little fold otherwise this thing would be uh, 8.59 beautiful copy nice 80 page giant world's finest let's take a look at this Who's in this? You got Robin, you got Batman, you got Superman. Number 161. Let's see if we can find this. Easy peasy. There it is. World's finest number 161 from 1966. Uh, this thing cost me $5.02. And he's graded this thing uh, 4.5. Because of size, this comic counts as uh, two for shipping when combining. And I just ended up paying one, you know, one price. I caught this, all these comics cost me $15 to get a ship to me, which is fantastic. Um, as I said, the seller is on uh, in Canada, so it costs less for shipping, no customs dealing. And uh, even that, I'm pretty sure uh, it was costing them a little bit more to ship it to me because shipping prices are insane here. Uh, Korok, son of Tarzan. Nice. Another Tarzan comic. Well, son of Tarzan comic anyway. Let's take a look. Where are we? It's not with the other Tarzan books, so it's buried somewhere. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There it is. Uh, number 20 from 1967. Cost me 99 cents. And he's great at this thing as uh, 2, 1.82. Uh, small pieces missing from lower corner. Yeah, right here is this here and there, but definitely higher than a two. Nice. Okay, now there's four more books, but before I show this to you, 
I'm gonna go grab something from a box that I know it's where it is. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, let me show you this. This is from my childhood. I've had a lot of people, uh, you know, ask me to tell them a little bit more about myself. And I usually, you know, in general, I'm a pretty private person, but uh, because of these uh, ASMR videos and comic book videos and math videos, a lot of people have left me a lot of comments saying that, uh, you know, they appreciate uh, me creating these things and, you know, it's helping them out either in mathematics or finding the comic book videos uh, informative and enjoyable and they're getting introduced to new comics and they love the readings. And um, uh, one of the most amazing comics I've been, comments I've been getting is that, uh, you know, it's, it's relaxing people and uh, people have been, uh, you know they, they can sleep better at night it's, and it's one of the most incredible things is people have sent me comments saying that they're not taking pharmaceuticals anymore or their pharmaceutical use has reduced for them to be able to sleep and that to me is, is money it's everything it's um it's it's huge right um so here's a little bit of uh for those of you who wanted to know a little bit more about me here's a little bit uh, just a little bit okay uh, when I was a kid uh, in the 19 I guess 70s uh, as some of you know I was uh, born in Iran I'm from Iran Armenian from Iran and one thing we uh, oh, there's a plane flag one thing we had access to or one thing we used to we used to do because there was no internet there was very limited tv like our cartoon you know the cartoons we used to be able to watch on tv for like there were like five minutes there was one channel right five minutes of cartoons and every now and then people would travel to europe and go to you know the US and they come back with goodies entertainment right and one of the things that happened was um, we used to watch these eight track I guess I don't know what they call them eight track or what do they call them uh, films right these guys and we had some we had uh, you know uh, Snow White and um, some Walt Disney stuff but one film we had that we watched, we used to put the projector and watch it on the screen. And I don't know how many times I watched this thing. And for us back then, we used to think it was King Kong, but it wasn't King Kong. It was Conga, right? So this is the package for the eight track, not eight track, the film, right? For Conga. And this is the writing in Farsi in the back. And I guess we bought this in uh, uh, in Iran, maybe, right? It's 8 millimeter. Sorry, 8 millimeter. I don't know my film history. 8 millimeter. Um, I guess it was released by Walt Disney. Uh, American International Pictures Incorporated. Right? American International Pictures Incorporated. Conga. And it's fantastic. And they show... Uh, synopsis. Let me read the synopsis to you. The doors, the doors of when Grammy refuses to wash before dinner. The other, oh, this is something else. It's not related to Conga. So Super Eight, eight millimeter film, Conga, and we thought it was King Kong. We used to watch it, right? So in this buy, I got. So let's show you these. I was ecstatic about this. And this is the reason. These four books are the reason I ended up buying all the rest of the books because 
you know, I'm in the middle of a move. I wasn't, you know, I didn't want to get any more packages coming, but I saw these and I had to bid on them because I looked online and these things were going for very expensive. Um, and I was pretty sure I could get these at a very reasonable price relative to what they were going for. And I wanted them because they're part of uh, my childhood, the story. And uh, this one, let me see. This is, and these were definitely the most expensive books in the lot that I bought. This is Conga, number five. Okay. And it's um, cost me $12.25. Is from 1962 okay. and he's graded this thing at uh, 7 7.5 and uh, let me just do another search let me give you a little bit more info about this I believe and I was bidding against uh, you know the people who were bidding against me actually there was only one guy who's about the same ranking as me around 200 that I guess he really wanted this thing to um, but, uh, let's see Kanga uh, Charlton and this is Steve Ditko like the artwork he's credited with uh, I haven't checked to see if it's Steve Ditko I was mainly buying this for because of Kanga because of the um, the eight millimeter the super eight filled uh, and i love this and these books just instantly became uh one of my favorite books in my collection so this was conga number uh, number five from 1962 uh, uh, okay and i bought this thing for uh, 12 uh, 70 uh, 12 uh, 25 uh, the next conga one was uh conga number seven and uh, this one cost me four uh four or three and he's graded this thing as 2.53 uh, okay and from 1962 awesome i think at some point i'm going to read these well at some point i'm going to flip through them and most likely read chunks of them anyway Kanga, look at this cover. Kanga number eight from 1962 again. And this one cost me $8.30. And again, from, uh, I did, I looked at it uh, a few, couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and I believe these are all Steve Ditko. And this one is uh, graded 4.5. Okay, so three, uh, Conga books, uh, original Conga books. Awesome. <laughs> to go with my Super 8. And I do have the film here. I don't know which one it is. They're not in the box. And I also got uh, Conga's Revenge, number one. Conga comes back. And this one, uh, it's, he marked it as a reprint. And... Uh, uh, he's graded as a four, four point five, and this one cost me dollar nineteen, and it's a number one from nineteen sixty eight. Awesome, awesome, and these four books were the reason, and these were the only Congo books he had. I got all the Congo books, uh, pretty sure anyway, uh, and uh, very happy to get these. Just thought I'd share this uh, last package that came to uh, this last location I was in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, and what we'll be doing uh, most likely is uh, I don't believe I'm going to be shooting any more videos uh, in this location I'm going to be going to the new location I might do some randoms here maybe some math or something because we still have the space for a little while longer and uh, you know I'll be coming back and forward still and we'll see we'll see what comes up but that was my that'll be my last buy uh in this location i'm pretty sure about that 
because I am busy and moves cost a lot of money. If I had a lot of money, if I had unlimited funds, I would have bought a lot more books from this guy. And I would have got my hands on uh, some books I've been chasing. But slow and steady, right? Over the years, you build it. Uh, you enjoy it. Uh, can't be greedy. And uh, just, uh, you know, collect uh, as you can. Uh, entertainment, right? Uh, investment, pleasure, uh, history, human artifacts, right? However way you want to look at it. Uh, something that brings you joy. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.